Hello everyone, welcome to a very special Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, holiday midlife special. I'm your host, Second Class Adam Vettery. The holiday season is upon us, so break out those wreaths, lights, menorahs, whatever it may be, so you can celebrate this holiday season. As you can tell, I'm celebrating with the tradition of the ugly sweater and Christmas hat. For today's episode, we have something to go along the Christmas route. In mid-November, the Midshipman Action Group, or MAG as they're known around here, uh, asked for volunteers for a community service project so that they could help set up Christmas lights out at Sandy Point State Park. The lights on the base showcase is used to help raise money for the Anne Arundel Medical Center, but most importantly, it's a good way for your people to spread the holiday spirit. So let's go check it out. Mids organized themselves in the mid-store parking lot at 6 in the morning to drive over for the first shift. The civilian volunteers and people in charge of the show immediately got them placing lights and fixing broken fixtures. The first shift worked at the park until noon, then the second shift arrived and worked until 1800. Uh, I'm here today working on a project called Lights on the Bay. Uh, it's an annual holiday light show for the Anne Arundel Medical Center. And the way that Michigan can help out is, is we provide the, the workforce to set up these giant Christmas light displays. So you have these giant iron frameworks with uh, different lights on timers and electrical cords. And we come out here sometime in November to set it all up. And then every year we come back in January to help tear it down. Hey, I'm third class Michael Topeka and basically what I've been doing today is just uh, repairing all the lights that are getting ready to go up for the display. I've been bulbing which is just replacing all the old colored light bulbs into, in the displays. And a lot of them have been unloading trucks. Also moving the big displays around and setting them up, you know, getting them uh, staked into the ground, ready to go for the actual show. Uh, it's very popular with the local community. Families will come uh, in the evenings when it's dark out uh, and drive through the park. It's a, a course uh, about three miles long. They'll just drive slowly along and enjoy all the Christmas lights uh, from out their windows. And, and Lights on the Bay, the, the light show itself, uh, opens later this month, November 23rd, uh, and it'll run through the holiday season until January 3rd. It's open in the evenings from 5 to 10 p.m. It's a fun holiday family activity. I haven't actually seen the light show before, but this year I plan to go just to see like, you know, what it's going to be like, because I plan on doing this for the next two years so as well. Uh, the people that are here today, uh, our primary point of contact is uh, Catherine Meal. Uh, she obviously works with Anne Arundel Medical Center, uh, but there are also several supporters of Lights on the Bay that have been here every year, uh, and their families, and they provide uh, a lot of the direction because they know exactly where the light displays go. Uh, and we follow them and we help out as much as we can. Now I'm giving you a little preview of some of the light fixtures scattered around the park. When I was there, it looked like there were a couple hundred light displays, a few of which were dedicated to midshipmen to include an anchor and midshipmen tossing their covers. I won't show those on the episode, but you can always check them out any night of the week. The display is so good, even the deer decided to join us that night. This is not the only community service project that MAG sponsors. Every other week I get emails where they ask for volunteers and they usually get an enormous response. Some of the projects range from helping local schools to, for example, an upcoming one for mids that live in California, to help the Women Air Force Service Pilots Rose Parade float to honor the first women aviators and World War II veterans. So to recap, Lights on the Bay runs from November 23rd, 2013 to January 1st, 2014 from 5 to 10 p.m. at night at Sandy Point State Park. It's $14 a car, but completely worth it, so pack that van full like a clown car on its way to the circus and enjoy the show. I'd like to thank Ms. Catherine Meal from Anne Arundel Medical Center for organizing the Lights on the Bay experience and allowing myself and the second class Hernandez to access the display to film for the episode. It was truly a great showcase and I was really glad that I was able to see it for this year, so thank you very much. We have reached the end of the episode and I'm sad to say that we must part ways now, but first I want to update all you lovely viewers on the coming weeks. If you haven't seen all the Army Navy spirit spots that MIDS have made, check them out at these links right here. The links will also be in the description below. If I missed any, please email me and I'll be sure to add them to the list below. But two Wednesdays from now is Christmas, so this is the last episode of Midlife for 2013, but I'll be back for the start of 2014. I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays, and to all the midshipmen, I hope your finals are going well and enjoy the upcoming break. Also, as everyone continues your holiday shopping, remember that this is a time of giving, and especially giving thanks to everything and everyone around you. 
and for remembering how fortunate many of us are and never forget the true meaning of the gift giving season. So that's all I have. Follow USNA on Facebook at this link here. If you haven't seen the first two episodes of Midlife, check those out at the links right here as well. Get excited for Army-Navy this weekend, and join me next episode on January 8th when I talk about the special events and traditions that go along with Army-Navy week, and I recap the big game. You're gonna ask me anything? Uh, I've been working the, 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 the broom today. Uh, pretty outstanding thing that, um, that to see that we can, uh, not, not really sure what to do with my hands. <laughs>